Hi guys and welcome to this update. Um, yeah, uh, the Smoking the Bandit build at the moment has been put on hold because I got a commission through um, for two gizmo boxes which need to be built before Christmas. <laughs> so this is really for Greg, really the client. If we take a look over here, we have got <clears throat> the lids at the moment. I'm just trying to catch up with the bottom because the, the top side's a lot darker so I'm just busy staying in them. Um, and if we go over here we've got box one and box two so they're good to go the mahogany has already been painted on these so I've just masked, masked it off don't worry about the in interior because that's all going to be covered but I will do a little coat on the inside just to darken it just in case anything does show um, and I'm planning on using these uh, for the clasp so I'm going to spray paint these black soon I've uh, been experimenting with some leather belts, so I've stained this one up, probably do another coat. But I think for the main hinges themselves, I'm going to actually use this leather belt here, it's so a lot more durable than what I used on the other one. But yeah, that's basically where I've got to now, just busy doing the lids. Uh, the boxes themselves have had about five coats on, so I'm not going to do any more to that. It will get a black wash just to get into all these like little nooks and crannies that I've battered them into because I didn't want it looking pristine because they're supposed to be antique boxes. So that's good to go. Uh, once that's dried and the lids are done, I'm going to be going ahead and adding the styrene sheets, um, which I'm not looking forward to because <laughs> when I did the first one, it took about five hours to cut all the little bits out of four and I've got obviously I've got eight to do so that's going to be time consuming so that's probably going to be a two day event um, once that's done I can flip these round and load up the airbrush and do all the uh, the black outline of that and stain it up even further so that should be good to go but yeah that's about as far as I've got it, I think it's taken just over a week. I think when I did the one day build that took eight days, so we're doing good. I'm just building them up at the same time as one another. Um, and yeah, all that good stuff. So the finish on it will be the same. I'm using upholstery nails to attach uh, the leather. This will be probably the internal hinges uh, for the box. But yeah, we're looking pretty good. Uh, I'm happy. Um, I've got about eight sheets of styrene. I've gone with a thinner gauge, so hopefully it won't take so long to cut them out. Um, and yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, and that's about it. So I'll catch you in a bit. So guys, we've got a bit further now. Uh, the side panels have all been cut out, so we've got box two here and box one here. And these are the front and backs, which they've all got the stencils and uh, the spacing tape all on. They're good to go, so tomorrow I'll get around to cutting all these out, which I'm not looking forward to, because it just takes forever. <laughs> but uh, if we have a quick look, yeah, put this in the box, like so. So there we have like our panel. That's the first time I've actually put it in there. It looks pretty good. Uh, looks relatively square. <laughs> Although saying that, that, that cutout might not actually be for that one, so it could be the other one. Uh, but that's it guys really, uh, there's nothing really more to show. Um, I'm going to have to cut out the fronts and the backs and then we might come back in maybe a, a second update when I start applying the paint. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much as far as I've got. I've got the other box over that way. And uh, yeah, we're all good. So I will catch you in update two, where they'll be pretty much getting completed and finished off. So I'll catch you then. See you later.